something's at the horses. You best stay inside. Might be a cougar. Pa's hurt. He's bad hurt. You'd best hitch up the wagon. We'll take him over to the Cartwrights. Now, this man, Mrs. Breckenridge, were you able to see what he looked like? Was he a big man or a small man? Was... I, I couldn't tell. It was awful dark. All I seen was him stealing a horse out of the corral. Jenny. 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 Pa's will be here with the doctor right away. Who'd want to shoot Pa just for a horse? Who knows what makes people do what they do, Toby? That ain't right. Of course it isn't, Toby. As soon as it's daylight, we'll track him down. Howdy, Judd. Howdy. Judd. Howdy, Mr. Cartwright. I seen a bunch of you from up at the line camp. It looked like you was hunting something. Some horse thief broke into the Breckenridge place last night, Judd. Shot saw Breckenridge. He died a little while ago. Yeah, his trail was pretty clear right up to Owl Creek. That's where we lost him. Judd, you get a pretty good view of the canyon from up in the line shack. Guess you didn't see anybody riding through, did you? Just a bunch of you. You know what I think? I think this horse thief's gonna be running scared. He ain't gonna be hanging around for nobody to catch up with him. I figure he'll keep moving. Yeah, maybe you're right. Adam should have got word to the sheriff by now. We better be heading back. When are you due in from riding line? Tomorrow night? Tell Amelia I'll be home in time for supper. Unless I get way off someplace chasing strays. Yeah, all right. Keep your eye peeled for any sign of a trail or sign of a camp. And if you come across a stranger, can't account for himself. You bring him in. Sure thing, Mr. Cartwright. That, uh, that horse that was stolen. It was a big black Breckenridge brand, Barbie. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Homer! <laughs> How are you, Pa? I never thought we'd find you, son. We sure been looking for you. <laughs> Good to see you, son. Good to see you, too, Pa. Oh, Rube will be glad to see you, too. Uh, we we're camped off a ways. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Look who's here! Well, if it ain't my ever-loving brother. I told you we'd find him, Rube. I kept telling you. <laughs> Where'd you get that horse? <laughs> now, Homer. Rube had to have a horse. <laughs> His own plum found it out. He killed a man to get it. What did you do? Now, didn't I tell you and tell you not to stir up that kind of trouble? Now, don't you hit me, Pa. I'm warning you, Pa. We need that horse, Pa. Now you know that. He'll get us hanged. I'm turning him loose. No, wait up, Pa. If somebody finds her, he's liable to backtrack straight to this camp. What are we gonna do, Homer? Don't ask me, Pa. You always could figure ways, Homer. We waited and waited for you, son. When you was due to get out of prison, you never showed up. You run out on us. We needed your help, son. Trailed you all the way to Kansas. Heard you'd married up with some gal. After that, we lost you. Heard you change your name, too. Now, what you gonna do a thing like that for, Homer? Ain't being a barn's good enough for you? Do you think my wife would have married me if she knew who I was? <laughs> you hear that, Pa? His wife doesn't even know who he is. <laughs> oh, when are you gonna tell her, Homer? That's all the food we got in the world. Oh, what did you go and do that for? There's a posse out looking for Rube. All they need to do is to see the smoke. What are we gonna do, Homer? Stay put, right where you are. Don't move around, and don't light any fires. I'll be back as soon as I figure something. Thanks, Homer. Don't get no ideas about turning me in. They catch me. I'll claim you steered me to that horse, and they'll string you up, too. you so soon. I had to get some supplies. I've got to go right out again after supper. Oh, Judd, why? You've been out on the line two days. Mr. Cartwright wants me to keep an eye out for the man who killed Saul Breckenridge. Judd, that man's a murderer. Suppose you do find him. I don't like the idea of you being out there alone. I can take care of myself. Of course you can. It's just that, well, if anything happened, I don't know what I'd do. 
Don't you worry, Amelia. I'm going to be all right. What do you think you're doing? Don't think I'm going to sit here freezing to death with an empty belly. The least we can do is get warm. Somebody's coming. Maybe it's Homer. What if it ain't? Hey, you sure come back quick, son. I brought you some grub, Pa. All I can spare. Thanks, son. <laughs> We're sure hungry. And after we eat it, what are we going to do then? Well, about all I can do is take the horse and turn it loose near the Breckenridge place. Oh, well, that's real brotherly of you. Well, we don't know this country. Where will we go, son? Head up into the high country around Mono. You'll come to a place called uh, Dead Lake. Nobody ever goes there. You can hold up there for a while. And go on living like this? With dirt in our grub and sleeping on rocks? With you bedded down with a wife in a feather bed? We don't want any more of your lousy grub, and we don't want any more of you. And after we hold up there for a while, what do we do then? I don't know, Pa. We need you, Homer. Look at me. I'm getting old, son. Rube here, he don't listen to me no more. He just bats his head against everything I say. Goes off on his own, not paying me no mind. I've got to go my own way, Pa. Now, you'd best break camp and clear out of here as soon as you can. So long, Pa. Woo! Stay out of this, Pa. Don't you see what he's doing? He's saving his own neck. Sending us up in the hills with nothing but a pinch of grub. How long do you think we're gonna last with no money and a couple of broken down horses? That's the truth. Well, we don't want to be no burden, Homer. We're stone broke. Sending us a lousy sack of grub. Amelia and me got a little money saved up toward buying a place of our own. How much? Oh, I don't know. She keeps it in a bowl. Maybe $150? That'd get us a far piece away from you, Homer. You think it's worth it? I'll get the money and be back in a couple of hours. Oh, we'll pay you back, Homer. Just as soon as we're able. Hold on. How do we know for sure you'll come back? You'll have to take my word for it. <laughs> you, you got something figured, Drew? Sure. The only difference between Homer and me is he's clean and his belly's full. Well, I'm dirty and my belly's empty. Save will fix one. And the other don't show. You couldn't get away with it. You don't think so? When you stand up like Homer, I bet even his wife couldn't tell you apart. Sure, Pa. We're twins, ain't we? Me and Homer's gonna change places, Pa. He's gonna tell me where the money is, and I'm gonna go and get it. Don't listen to him, Pa. <laughs> By gum, I think you could do it, Rube. Sure, sure. And you get rid of that horse while you're at it. He's a good horse, Pa. We need it. You can get us hung. Well, you can do like I tell you. All right, Pa. He can't get away with it, Pa. 
Well, he's got to try, Homer. Turn it again the way you have it. He, he don't trust you. Ain't nothing else he can do. You get out of them clothes, son. You do like your paw says, Homer? Here wandering around in the middle of the night. Just bring in a horse. It's Breckenridge's horse. Where'd you find it? Found him stray up in the hills. A man killed Saul Breckenridge stealing that horse. Yeah, I'm sorry. I heard about that. You find any trace of the man stolen? No. Just the horse wandering around. Well, there ought to be some tracks up there we can follow. Mind taking us back up? Sheriff, it's... It's been a long, hard day. I, I'm tired, I'm hungry. I'd like to go home. Judd, a man's been murdered. Now we gotta do whatever we can to find out who killed him. Well, it seems to me that that's your problem, Deputy. Are you refusing to take me back up where you found that horse? Deputy, I'm plumb tuckered out. I'd like to go home. I'm asking you one more time. Are you refusing? Yes. And you better come on back into town with us. <sighs> now, wait a minute, Deputy. You got no right to... This gives me the right. I stop you arguing and come along. I guess I got no choice. You made your choice. Where are you going, Homer? I'm going home, Pa. Rope should have been back hours ago. If he's harmed Amelia... Oh, stop fretting, Homer. You know your brother Rube would give your wife the same regard he'd give his sister. <laughs> Likely he got her to fix him some hot food. Uh, he was mighty hungry, poor boy. Now, oh, son. Now, you know I can't let you go, son. You just go to that Mr. Cartwright you work for and start shooting off your mouth, and then where'd we be? We'd all be in trouble. You just settle down, boy. We'll be back in good time. I'm sorry, son. I always seem to be caught between the two of you. Mr. Carroy, Mr. Carroy. What is it, Toby? What are you so excited about? They caught the man who killed my pa. Hold on. The sheriff's whoa, got him whoa, locked whoa, up in jail. Whoa, now wait a minute. Take a deep breath and start all over again. They got the man who killed my pa. They caught him? Yeah, Mr. Cartwright. They found him with pa's horse. Good. It's Judd Lolly. Judd? It can't be. He just got in from riding line last night. They said it was him, all right. We better get in town and see the sheriff right away. Yeah, we better do that. Listen, I want to stop off at Amelia's place on the way, see if she knows anything. All right, I'll, be, I'll meet you there. Toby, you better get along home now. Your, your mom must be needing you. What about Judd Lawley, Mr. Cartwright? Uh, what he, will happen to him? He'll be all right. Now, that must be some mistake. Now, get along home. Come on. Hey! Hello, Joe. Morning, Amelia. Would you like a cup of coffee? Huh? No, thanks. I haven't got the time. Hey, look at this place. Did you fix it up so nice, I don't even recognize it. Thanks. Judd and I have worked real hard. You're pretty fond of that guy, aren't you? 
Yes. He's mighty handy, too. Bought me the material for these drapes. Listen, where, where is Judd? I thought he came in last night. He did, but he went out again right after supper. Said something about your pa asking him to look for that man who killed Saul Breckenridge. What is it, little Joe? Is something wrong? No, no. Nothing wrong. Just want to talk to Judd, that's all. Oh. Joseph! I better be on my way. I'll tell Judd when he comes in that you were looking for him. Okay, you do that. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. She hasn't heard anything about it. Cool. Clem, this is what you hold from Judd. I was just about to send you a message, Ben. We found him with the Breckenridge horse last night. Well, what's wrong with that? I told him to keep an eye out for that horse. Well, the boy acted sort of peculiar. Well, what's peculiar? What do you mean, peculiar? I wanted him to take me back up there where he found a horse, and he refused. Why did he refuse? Well, he said he was tired. Wanted to go home. Doesn't sound like Judd. Another thing, he won't answer one question. He just sits there. Mind if we talk to him? No, go ahead. You're his boss. Maybe you can get something out of him. I sure can't. Judd? Now, look. You work with the Cartwright Rancher, don't you? Why did you send for us if you needed help? Well, the deputy was giving me a hard time. <laughs> Why did you take him to where you found the horse? Well, it was late. I was tired. Come on, Judd. You should have done what he asked anyway. That's not like you. Well, what do you think I should have done? Stayed up in them hills all night? Now, wait a minute. There's no need for anybody to get huffy. Clem, what would it take to get this young fellow out of here? Just some civil answers to some questions, that's all. Like where he came from before he went to work for you. Well, there's no harm in that, is there? Well, I've been around. You know, what's gotten into you, Judd? You know you were working in Larkspur, Kansas when you married Amelia. Now answer his questions. Sure. I've been a lot of places. Larkspur's fine with me. You mind if I wire him for some information? Well, what's the point in that? A man's dead. I plan to do everything I can to find out who killed him. Judd's one of my top hands, and I've known his wife since she was a little girl. They're planning to buy a ranch of their own. Now, why would he spoil everything by, by stealing a horse or killing a man? I'm not accusing him, Ben. I just don't like it when a man refuses to answer questions. Makes me think that maybe he's got something to hide. Clem? Judd's tired, he's worn out, he's been riding live for two days and two nights. Why don't you let him go home and get cleaned up and get a little rest? All right, Ben, take him with you, but I want him where I can put my hands on him when I hear from Larkspur, you understand? <laughs> I understand. I, he'll be where you can put your hands on him, all right? Come on, Judd, let's go. <laughs> the jails make me nervous. I sure could use a drink. Yeah. Well, we'll get you up. Thanks, Bob. Judd, don't you think you should be getting home? Amelia will be worried. And just because I didn't tell her about your being in jail doesn't mean somebody else might not. Yeah. Well, maybe she ought to get used to a little trouble. Judge, did I hear you right? You heard me right. Well, what do you mean by that? Joseph. Uh, what kind of trouble are you talking about? Well, wait till the sheriff gets that word back from Larkspur. You worried about that, Judge? Ever hear the Barnes family? Luke Barnes and his four sons? Everybody's heard of them. I'm one of them. Two of my brothers, Cy and Ed, they were hanged. Me, I spent four years in jail for hitting a drunk. When I got out, I changed my name from Homer Barnes to Judd Lolly. I, uh, I take it Amelia doesn't know anything about this. Huh? Well, you spent four years in jail for something like that. You, you paid your debt. 
When you're a Barnes, you're always in debt. Oh, I, I don't go along with that, Judd. I don't think Amelia would either. I know she wouldn't. She loves you, Judd. She'd understand just the way we understand. Judd, no matter what answer the sheriff gets, don't you think that Amelia should know who you really are? Ben, oh, I'm glad to see you. Saves me a trip out of the Ponderosa. Hello, Ralph. I uh, just got word your stallions arrived at the Carson City Railhead. Oh, well, that's good news. I'll have them picked up. The sooner the better, Ben. A $5,000 animal is too valuable to be cared for by corral hands. Well, I go along with you there. Uh, I'll have them picked up right away. Oh, Ralph, thank you very much for your help. All right. $5,000. Well, that's a lot of money for just a horse. Just a horse? You know about the Arabian stallion we've been talking about? Yeah. I, I just didn't know it was worth all that much. That stallion really should be picked up right away. Now, Joe, why don't you ride over to Carson City? And Judd, why don't you go along with him? I'll give you a little time to think about what I said. Mr. Cartwright, you've got a deal. I'd like to see a horse worth that kind of money. Let's get started. Judd, tell Amelia not to worry about food. Just pack a bedroll. I'll have Hop Sink prepare enough food for both of you. Yeah, and don't take too long saying goodbye to Amelia. I'd like to try to make Carson City by tonight. Nothing. I'm in a hurry. Little Joe's outside waiting for me. We're gonna pick up a horse in Carson City. Pick up a horse in Carson City? Mm -hmm. Judd, you've been gone for days, riding line. Can't they find anybody else? I don't want you to go. Well, I can't help it. Mr. Cartwright asked me to do it. Now, go and get me a shirt and my bedroll. back as soon as I can. Judd! You were going to go without even kissing me. The sun's about ready to go down, Pa. I've waited long enough. Something's happened to Rube. You think so, son? Well, he's been gone almost 24 hours. They've either caught him or he's hiding somewhere. I'm going in. Pull the trigger if you want to, Pa. I've got to find out if Amelia's all right. Hold up, son. I'm coming with you. All right, Pa. Maybe it's time I faced up to who I really am. back so soon. So soon? <gasps> Who's that man? Amelia. 
There is something I should have told you about a long time ago. This is my pa. Your pa? Howdy, daughter. Hello. Well, that's a mighty pretty little woman you got there, Homer. Homer? Judd, what's he saying? Homer here uh, is ashamed of his pa. So he went and changed his name. Amelia. That's my real name, Homer. Homer Barnes. Barnes? Barnes. But they're... Yeah. Horse thieves, ex-convicts, murderers. <laughs> Daughter, Homer here just makes things sound a whole lot worse than they are. <laughs> Us Barneses ain't as bad as all that. You killed Saul Breckenridge. No. No, that was uh, Rube. Uh, he, he's my other boy. Uh, he always was one to act before he thinks. Ain't that right, Homer? Amelia, I'm sorry. I, I should have told you who I was. I figured when I got out of prison, I, maybe I could start fresh. Should have known I could never get rid of the stink of being a Barnes. Well, now you know, you could go back to Kansas. Maybe back there they won't know you married one of us. No, Judd, no. I love you. I don't care what you were. You're my husband now. I swear, I never can figure how you and Rube, twins, can be so unlike. Twins? Yes, me and Rube. He took my clothes. He was coming down here last night to get that money we've been saving up. Your twin brother. Then it was him who went to Carson City with little Joe to pick up that horse. You mean that Arabian stallion? That horse is worth a lot of money. Well, Rube's liable to kill little Joe for it. Judd! Homer, where do you think you're going, Homer? I'm going to tell Mr. Cartwright. We have to catch him before something happens. Now, why do you think that, Homer? You know Rube, you know how he is. Yeah, that Rube. <laughs> he always was a fool about horses. Now, I can't let you go, Homer. I don't want to shoot, but I will if I have to. Don't make me shoot, son. Judd, don't do it, please. I don't want anything to happen to you. Little Joe can take care of himself. That's better. I was afraid there for a minute I was going to have to hurt you, son. Uh, we'll just sit down here and wait for Ruby to get back. And now, uh, while we're waiting, maybe you could fix me something to eat, daughter. I'm awful hungry. I've been mighty hungry for a long time now. All right, go ahead, Amelia. You sure got it lucky, son. Pretty little wife, cozy little house, plenty of eats. I sure hope nothing spoiled it for you. Twins. The whole family's bad. The two older brothers were hanged, Ben. Oh, Clem, you're not going to condemn a man just because he comes from a bad family. Ben, Breckenridge is dead. Now, I caught this Judd, uh, Homer Barnes, with his horse. After that telegraph, I'm not satisfied he found the horse astray. I want to question him. <sighs> all right, when he gets back from Carson City with little Joe, you can question him all you want to. Well, I wish I was as sure as you are that he's all right. Oh, you know his wife? Wouldn't be the first time a good woman has changed a man. Does she know who he is? No. I'm sure going to find out. The whole town knows about this telegraph. 
Well, I'd better get over there before somebody else does. I've come here to say something to you. Guess somebody's already been here. What's the matter? Nothing's the matter, Mr. Cartwright. Homer here is just entertaining his paw. Now, you'd oblige me. You'd put that gun on a table. I'm awfully sorry, Mr. Cartwright. It's all right, Judd. I keep telling you, his name's Homer. I know. It's twin to your other son. The one who's with little Joe. He killed Saul Breckenridge, too, didn't he? That's right. Oh, now, don't you worry nothing about your boy. Drew ain't gonna hurt him none. That is, if he does like he's told. How many sons you got, Mr. Cartwright? Three. I got four. One up on you. <laughs> you forgetting two of them were hanged, aren't you? Yeah. Head and sigh. Poor souls. And Rube killed Breckenridge. He might hang for that someday. Poor boy. Man, if something was to happen to Homer here, oh, I, I ain't saying a will, daughter. I was just supposing. Then I'd have no sons at all. I'd be all alone. Oh, wouldn't that be a sad thing? You wasn't hit. I wouldn't want to grieve your sons, but you should be more careful, Mr. Cartwright. I sure hope your boy don't try nothing like that with Rube. He ain't as kindly as me. Mm. Oh, I don't know why I'd go along with you on this steady riding. We sure are all fired anxious to get home in a hurry. We sure am, so let's hurry in. Get this food down, huh? Yeah. Sure doesn't taste like Amelia's cooking, does it? You're a pretty lucky fella. You got some gal there. The way she fixed up that cabin with curtains and everything. Yeah, women. They're always fussing over silly things. What do you mean, silly things? You picked the material for the curtains, didn't you? You funning me? No, I'm not funning you. There's nothing to be embarrassed about, picking curtain material. I'm a man. I don't bother with women's things. That horse sure can run. I wish it was mine. I'd race him. I'd sure earn me a heap of money. He's a fast horse, all right. Your father's want to race him, though. 
It's gonna use them to breed better line of stock. Yeah. Well, come on. I told you I want to get back. Mm. It's a mighty fine stew, daughter. Now, you reckon you could spare me a little dab more? Well, our sons ought to be showing up soon. Uh, wouldn't you say, Mr. Cartwright? They ride steady all day, they will. Mm -hmm. Rube ain't one to tarry when he thinks Posse might be chasing him. Oh. No. <laughs> Don't you worry none, daughter. Homer ain't gonna get hurt now. Chad, please be careful. His name's Homer. I want you to forget you ever knew that Judd Lolly. Who is this Judd Lolly? He's an old friend. Well, he's an all right fellow, I guess. But he's dead. Killed one of the Indian Wars. There's a young man walking the face of this earth who bears his name. I'd say Judd Lolly was more alive than you'll ever be. I'm saying he's my son, Anna Barnes, and Judd Lolly is best forgotten. Forgotten? The only worthwhile thing a man leaves when he dies are his children. What he was lives on in them. When people look at my sons, I want them to remember me well. How are they gonna remember you? Man's got a hungry belly. He don't care if he's remembered. That's good, because when you die, Nobody's going to remember you. Homer? He's trying to rile me. The only son you might have been proud of is ashamed to use your name. Now, don't you rile me. Now, I'm telling you to stop riling me. <laughs> Whose horse is that? What's the matter with you, Judd? You've been taking care of that horse for six months. That's my father's horse. Looks like the sheriff got his telegraph back from Larkspur, hmm? Now throw down your gun. I said throw your gun down. Boy, have I been stupid. <laughs> there were just too many things you couldn't remember. You're not Judd Lolly, are you? Now get off the horse. Get up. All right, into the house. Drop that gun, boy. Oh, your paw's dead. Do as he says, little Joe. He means it. I should have known, Pa. I should have known he wasn't Judd. You couldn't know. They're identical twins. Even Amelia didn't know. Come along, Homer. We're getting out of here. Did you get the money, Paul? That's what I come back for, to get the money. We need it. You heard him, Homer. Now you tell the woman to fetch it. Go and get the money, Amelia. Joe. Go and get the money! Stay in the house, Amelia, and don't come out no matter what. What do you mean by that? I ain't going with you, Pa. You ain't coming with me. He's either with us or he's against us. He can't have it both ways. No. Ruth's wrong, Luke. It's you who can't have it both ways. 
Now, it's one son or the other. You have to choose. He either comes with us or I kill him. I don't want you rubbing in your hands again, Rube. I'll take care of Homer. Homer, you come along. I'm staying, Pa. Homer, I don't want you catching me between you, you and Rube again. Why don't you do it, Homer? But I have to, Pa. I made my choice when I got out of prison. You just might as well use that gun room. I'm warning you. instead of home. Strange. <laughs> now, why would I go and do a fool thing like that? Well, maybe... Maybe it's because you want it to be remembered well. <laughs> <laughs> 